Say something, I'm giving up on you. Breakups, next. Welcome back to Fish and Chips. I'm your host, and I got my boy here, Brian. Hey, Brian, we're going to be talking about some topics today. We're going to talk, we're going to talk about a little serious topic today. Uh-oh. But before we even think about it, we want you to like, share, and subscribe, and comment. We like to read your, your guy, you guys' comments and, and what we do. We want to know that we're in the right space and stuff y'all want to talk about. So let us know. Comment what you want to hear. So like share and subscribe anyway brian i'm gonna get right into it what's going on manny tell me tell me what's going on you know not to even mention hollywood you know there's always breakups divorces and that's that's every day and now now it's like an everyday thing even now in areas of lives where we are and you know normal day life people everybody is divorcing breaking up and you're like what is this thing that's going on where people are breaking up (laughs) nobody wants to be together anymore I think people just want to be single. <laughs> What's your thing? You know what is, I mean? Cause you 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 you're divorcing over who whose toothpaste was blue and whose toothpaste was white, and you didn't buy me this. Mm. You're breaking up over little bitty small stuff. Why is the toilet seat down? Yeah, th- those type of <laughs> things. Like, you're breaking up, and like, and I know they say during the pandemic, you know, a lot of people decided that they didn't like their significant mm. other. No, yeah, I mean, for whatever we, reason. Because we definitely heard a lot of breakups and divorces during 2020. I think what you would, you know, what we've been talking about, you know, a lot of people got stuck together that didn't want to be together and just made it worse. And yeah. it was just like, it was a lot of uh, yeah, you, 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 separation you, going on. <laughs> you begin to cohabitate in a room and you recognize you don't even like each other. Man. And, you know, this one couple, they were together like 12 years and decided... We don't want to be together no more. We don't like each other. You know, have you heard? I'm just curious if you heard this. You know, there was a, a poll out there that they're saying that marriages, in a sense, need to have two different bedrooms. That's right. What do you, <laughs> you think about that? Well, you know, I, I think it's crazy. But, you know, if it works for you, you know, maybe you want to come together and cohabitate and do your do at night and then go to your separate rooms. Mm-hmm. If maybe, you know, you might be a snore and your significant other don't like the <laughs> yeah. fact you're snoring. Whatever yeah. it is, if that works, then let it work for you. That's true. You know, but um, for just to be able to see this influx of just divorces and yeah. every time you look around, people are breaking up and mm-hmm. you're like... You know what? What? What is going on? As I'm what, saying, nobody wants to be together no more. Everybody you know, wants to be single. Yeah, they don't want to put up with anything. But <laughs> my thing is, how do you handle a breakup? It's tough. Sometimes. You know. You know. Once you recognize, okay, we've we, we've uh, we've grown out of love is what we yeah. like to say. You know, this type of thing. What do you do at that point? Of you recognize, you know what? I don't love this person the way I used to love them and, and I'm ready to move on. How, how, how do you bring up that type of conversation? You know, say you've been with this lady for two years or five years or, or 10, 10 years. 10 years, yeah. How do, how do you bring that type of uh, conversation up? I mean, I know within your own self, you had a, what, a five-year relationship and y'all broke up. Mm-hmm. How did you deal with that? I mean, how do you deal with that? What what brought y'all to the point of divorce? And I think it was just lack of communication at that point you know and then of course i mean it's tough man it's tough and i believe it's tough for so everybody. you're saying the first year y'all were able to communicate somewhere between the three year and the five year y'all wasn't communicating yeah i think uh you know we were just i think mentally th- it was we were young and so i i would say i think mentally we were just kind of going a different path you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying so it wasn't working for me it wasn't working for her so you know what I'm saying? Then he's, then it comes, you know, lack of communication. And then it's just at that point, he's like, you know, what's the purpose of staying together? So I thought you were going to say blame it on the alcohol is why y'all broke I up. Mean, I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, after that, you know, the alcohol does feel better, you know, to, because again, like you said, you know, when you've been together for so long, you know what I'm saying? Mm. That does. But how you do know, you say that? You look her in the face and you say goodbye. First of all, did she break it off or you broke it off? Oh, no, she broke it off. She broke it out. Yeah. So how did that leave you feeling? What were, did you not feel, did you know something like this was happening? Did you know there was no, issues? No, actually, it, it caught me off guard, you okay. know what I'm saying? And so that's the one that I think that hurt because like, it just, when the ones that catch you off guard, like, you know what I'm saying? Those, those hurt the most, yeah. Mm-hmm. So what did you feel? What did you feel like? What, wait a minute, why? God damn it. Was there yeah, a why? Mo- I mean, most definitely like, there was. Is a, there somebody else? No, yeah, there was, uh, you know, a lot of questions and all that stuff. 
um but yeah i mean you you asked yourself all that but you know it was just like no answer so i was like you know we decided just move because you know to me i just don't like getting emotionally my emotions go too crazy because you know uh, you know this is why a lot of people shoot people yeah well i'm pissed and it feels like your fault <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? well do you feel like did she leave you for somebody else or is she just saying hey you're just not emotionally connected to me anymore. What, what, what? Yeah, it was just, it was just kind of more like that. It was just emotion, emotionally. I think we we're just kind of separating, you know, mm -hmm. um, so that connection wasn't really there strongly. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. So on the, in that moment that y'all broke up, did you move from the house or did she move from the house? Uh, I moved, I removed myself from the situation. Okay. Yeah. So once you remove yourself from the situation, and this is true. It's real now. It's really, really real. Mm -hmm. Did you go through like a grieving process? Yeah, or? most definitely. It, it's a grieving process. Uh -huh. um, you know, because again, you know, you've been with this person for so many years. So, mm -hmm. I, you know, I still have some type of deep, con deep connections. But yeah, I mean, it took a while to, you know, get over. But, you know, we have to, you know, keep moving. Well, did you just jump to someone else no, no, the no. next week? No, no, I'm no. I'm taking a lot of men, they can break up. Oh, yeah, most definitely. In three days, they oh, got yeah, they got definitely. another woman. Noise. You know yeah, what I mean? Definitely. Versus a woman, she might wait a year or two. <laughs> you know, but a man. No, most definitely. I think he, men are different. Yeah. Yeah, the man can leave on Monday and he ain't got another woman. Well, by I will Wednesday. say, I, you know, there's a lot of girlfriends, you know what I'm saying? Or friend girls, or however you want to put it. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But relationship, no. not, not So, a, how not long was accident. it that, you, you know, after the, the breakup, I would say, did I'll, you start dating again i would say probably after a year only because you know i wanted more of you know in a sense just kind of do stuff myself you know mm -hmm. gr grow you know mature and, and and you just learn a lot of stuff so for myself just to heal myself and you so know. as a man you, you did go through a kind of a grieving process because this was kind of like a death to you this you, oh, didn't, yeah, definitely. you didn't expect it's, that emotionally it took a little bit you know off you know from me mm -hmm. because again at the end of the day you know you did you know we worked together for a long time so you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying so um, did you try to communicate to her after you know after y'all was separated did, or did you just totally cut that oh, off? Oh no, I, we we totally cut it off at that point. Yeah. No, I mean we do talk here to the, you know here and there, but it's like mm -hmm. you know like how you doing, you know you're doing great, awesome, mm -hmm. you know, that type of conversation, but So I think it's important to establish those boundaries where you're not necessarily kind of seeing that person all the time still. Yeah. You know because you you you're yeah. still grieving or whatever and uh, Yeah. Sometimes you can have those what they call what touchback where you y'all yeah. both grieving but then you go back together for one night and mm -hmm. then it makes you even worse the next day. So yeah, most definitely. I would say you know as far as for me you know I would say one thing I did help you know even through the emo emotional roller co coaster is finding God. You know that's what I would say that helped me because again at the end of the day you know I was an emotional emotional wreck because again at the end of the day I was like I was saying you know we've been together for so many years and all this stuff so it did take a little piece of you of your little heart if that makes sense you but know? did you go through the process where you know it's over <laughs> it's over I won't say you but know no, but what I'm saying is I, I, I won't say too much of the like uh. <laughs> but it's more like you know a little 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 moments of alone moments mm -hmm. of you know a little i won't say depression but it, you know i was a little you know i was down at and in those moments and all this stuff mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so you didn't stop eating for a long period of time no there was a lot of uh, alcohol involved lot of <laughs> but i think it's important to me i think when you're going through something like that yeah. self-care is important if, if you do exercise or or, or you do enjoy whatever your hobbies are, yeah. are yeah. to find yourself doing some things yeah. like that to keep your mind balanced yeah. because it is an emotional thing as well for men yeah. we might not show it and find god jesus christ so put on the huh, arm of god jesus christ we love you god so we do it for god Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely find find God. I say but. that I say that you know most highly because that's what's gonna help you balance yourself out. You know what I'm saying? I say without it, I'm sorry. There ain't nothing that's gonna you know complete complete you or even balance it to where you where you're at peace or mm. happy again. Yeah, but I know a lot of time through divorce, people say, you know what? Now I, I've just found myself. You know, I, I found out that I have this passion or. Or I want to do greater yeah. things, you know, yeah. where before in their relationship, yeah. they didn't think like that. They <laughs> didn't now, think it's like now you have more time. <laughs> yeah. You know, before you were spending time with the individual, your partner, you know, your spouse, wife, husband. You're spending a lot of time with that. Now you, that you don't, you know what I'm saying? Now you can prioritize, you know, what 
what you want to be doing. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And now that you have all that free time, yeah, you can, you know, like I said, do your self care, do your workout, your exercises, mm -hmm. you know, eat better, you know, educate yeah. yourself, you know, grow a business, do something, do something productive. And mm -hmm. I think that's what's helped me as far as the whole process is to kind of uh, not sit there, you mm -hmm. know, and just kind of think of the, think of it, mm -hmm. you know, it's better. Like you'd be saying is, do something, you know what I'm saying? Get product, be productive, mm -hmm. you know, because that takes away from thinking of the situation that you just have, you know, went yeah, through. And a lot of times too, and, and I've seen this happen a lot with men and women, they're, they're divorced or they'll break up and they'll find somebody else within the next three days because they don't want to deal with the feelings yeah. and the emotions of the pain <laughs> of what they just came out of. Yeah. So they I never really heal. Nah, I will, they just take that brokenness <laughs> into a new relationship. Yeah, that's so. That's so true. Yeah, and also, and I mean, and we're in 2024. You already know this, man. Like, it's so easy to find people now. You know, what I'm saying especially hookups. Yeah, but that's not always you know? a good thing. <laughs> it's not. All I'm saying is, just, it's just so easy make, now. Make sure that you are healed. Yeah, because if you're not, you're gonna start bleeding all in that new that's relationship, that, and that person don't know why you're going through what you're going yeah. through because you're still bleeding yeah. and you didn't allow yourself. I would to just heal. say, go have your fun, have your fun. Don't just jump into another relationship. Like get get that out of your system, then jump into a new relationship. You know, whenever that's a good time to. So yeah. you basically said just go date around, don't get serious Most about nobody. No. Just do you and enjoy and have fun. your life, man. You only got one. <laughs> <laughs> You know, again, and I, I understand it, but I also feel like it's important. To, I think when you have a breakup, that's the time to really find out who you are. Yeah. What your passions are. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to be guilty of, of jumping into a whole lot of other stuff when, when I'm still trying to learn about me. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm asking myself, well, why did this relationship, you know, why did we get divorced? Yeah. How can I better myself? Because I want to better myself because I don't want to take an in, in a, go into another relationship one day. Yeah. And, yeah, and the issue and, was me. And that baggage. And I never allowed that issue yeah. in me That's to be saying. dealt with. If you don't take care of that emotional that you that you went through, like mm -hmm. you said, you could take that to the next relationship. And like you said, it could be you and you can do that to the next person it's just a whole cycle that you go through exactly you keep doing that you go you break up again and you divorce again and you keep doing that to the next person yeah. and the next person yeah so you and see with me i've experienced i've experienced divorce you know so i know what i know what that feels like and you mm -hmm. take in time after the divorce to really find out who you are how many divorces have you got yeah, one whoa wow. you know there's just one and isn't i'm that just crazy that some people have like four, five, six divorces. What you think about that? But see, again, that's what I'm saying. I think a lot of times we're not healed and we jump into another relationship and another relationship and never getting healed. Mm -hmm. and, and that's not fair to the other person too that does, that does not know your background. True. You know, so I think we need to heal, even as men, we need to heal before we get into another serious relationship. That way you're not bleeding into that new relationship and, and that new relationship won't have a chance. So how was your divorce? How'd you my, take my, it? My, my divorce, you know, it, it was really, really hard because again, children were involved and it's yeah. it's even harder when children are involved. Yeah, that's so true. So it takes, you know, if you don't know God, you better get to know God. I love you. You're awesome. Because that's what I'm saying. It, it takes prayer. It takes meditation. Yeah. It takes truth too on both ends. You but, know? Why, but why does it take God? Well, to me, <laughs> some people, you know, they, they might look to something else. I look to a higher consciousness. I look to God, you know, to Jesus. That's where I get my healing from, mm. you know, and, and to balance your mind and to well. get into the scriptures of God and, well. you know, to make you whole and to make you balanced. Yeah. Otherwise, you can get out of order and do some stuff. A and, lot and of stuff. Some stuff that's not good that can maybe yeah. cause you to go to jail. So <laughs> you, you better get some peace, some real peace that comes from yeah I'm Up saying above. that's the only piece that you know that's really gonna satisfy you everything else is like you said it's like a little temporary high you know what yeah. I'm saying um, and you want that permanent piece mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that only mm -hmm. comes from above that's all and, and whatever <laughs> happens in the life even when it's, it seems tragic or it hurt there's lessons in it Almost definitely. there are lessons to make you better because it's not about at that point yeah. pointing fingers on who did what no. or this that you know but understanding yourself yeah. You know what I mean? Get to know yourself and where did I go wrong? And once you recognize that, or where did she go wrong? But once you recognize that, then allow forgiveness to come in. Not just forgiveness well, for her or him that hurt you, yeah. but also for yourself. And yeah. only then can you really move forward, mm -hmm. you know, and become whatever it is that God wants you to become. But you got to first self-heal 
on both sides mm -hmm. for you to move forward. And that's how yeah. I did it. Yeah, because people get stuck on that. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? And like you said, at, even at this point, they are still going through them, you know, oh, yes. separation, the emotions, you know. So that's what I'm saying. You have to let all that stuff go because now you can take that all the way to your grave and, you know, you don't no. want that. You and the worst thing, again, like I said earlier, is taking that into another relationship and you're not healed, you know, and this woman wondering why you acting crazy, why you acting a certain yeah. way. Are you getting loud with her and she don't know what's going on? Yeah. Because you never healed from that previous relationship. Isn't it crazy how some people can, uh, like you, like you thought you know this person, but out of nowhere, it's just mm -hmm. start going crazy on you. You like, see, I've heard, what the hell is wrong with you? What? <laughs> I've heard that so many times, especially when some people have been together for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Now they're about to divorce. And then the first thing they'll say, I never knew you. I never, ever knew you. I'm like, yeah. how did you never, ever knew them? know them after 10 years for real? Yeah. You know? That's a 10-year facade. <laughs> Bill, you know, you didn't know Bill. That's Bill, crazy. Bill is that same one-eyed guy. That eye ain't changed, you know, mm -hmm. he's still the same person. Yeah. It's just that your eyes are open now. And probably what you didn't like in the beginning, of that relationship, you just yeah. start like it and let it just move over. Well, but now that you're mad at the person, now you're looking at them one eye and calling them one eye. Tell you know? all your dirty business. <laughs> and the other time, you saw two eyes. You didn't yeah. see that one eye, you know? So uh, it's just interesting. But uh, I, the most important thing I would say that make sure you heal, mm -hmm. make sure there's forgiveness. So, you know, as far as relationship, as far as you and your ex, wh where do you guys stand as far as conversation? Or do you guys talk? Or, you know, you after, after, talk like, no more, or after like three or four years, we're like best friends. Well, when we get along great, we co-parent together. We get along great. Okay, so you guys still talk in a daily yeah, basis? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a beautiful yeah, that's relationship. That's crazy because you don't hear that a lot. <laughs> because Most of the people are like mad at the other person still and like, oh, yeah. if that, I ain't talking to that person. <laughs> and I don't know where to get to there. You have to acknowledge your truth, acknowledge your wrong, and have forgiveness. Both parties have to have forgiveness and willing yeah. to go move forward. You yeah, know, not true. just for the child, which is a yeah. good reason, but, you know, also just good for your own mental, you know, Yeah. because uh, it, it helps when you're able to forgive and move forward yeah. and begin and to that, work and, on it. And, and I think that's the key. I think, you know, being able to heal and move forward, you have to, you know, you have to uh, forgive, right? Exactly. Yeah, in order for you to keep moving. So I would say work on that. <laughs> exactly. And guys, let us know, like I said, y'all that are listening to us, yeah. maybe you went through a divorce or a broken relationship. We want to hear a comment. We want to read your comments and see how did you handle it? Or are you still handling it and trying to get through the process? Mm -hmm. You know, we want to know. So make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. We love, again, to read all of your comments. And, and everything we take it to heart and if it's something you want to see us talk about just chat it in the comments and then we'll we will talk about it yeah. we even call out your name right so but we Sally. do <laughs> <laughs> but we do appreciate you we thank you all uh out there in social media for what you're doing and uh we definitely enjoy what we do so all right guys there you have it that was another video on breakups thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next video peace